basic features of XG5000. In this video, we will learn basic features of XG5000 and how to program using the tool. As you start XG5000, you will see an empty screen with a toolbar on the top. Click on Project, and you can select to create a new project, open a project, or open recent projects. Let's create a project with name of XGK sample. Default file directory is XG5000 folder in C drive. It will automatically create a folder with file name under XG5000 folder. However, users can change the folder. Users need to select a PLC by choosing CPU series and type. When XGK series is chosen, all CPU types available for XGK are listed. In this video, I will choose XGK CPU UN. Ladder programming and auto allocation are programming formats that can be chosen. When using ladder programming, users need to allocate address for each variable. However, unlike ladder programming, auto allocations allows users to use XGK like XGI. When variables are used in programming, address is automatically allocated. Additionally, it will enable to use user-defined function and function blocks. Ladder, sequential flowchart, structured text, instruction list are supported as programming language. For XGI, different language can be chosen for each scan program. In this video, I will select Ladder Programming. Layout of XG5000 This is how XG5000 looks like. It is composed of menu bar, toolbar, shortcuts, project window, program window, monitor window, and result window. Standard menu bar contains all functions needed for the project. In toolbar, there are shortcuts for contacts, coil, and function that users can use for programming. Project window on the left-hand side shows what the project is composed of. Result of finding devices or check program shows in message window and information on PLC connected and status of XG5000 shows on the status bar on the far below. Menu Project menu has all the functions to manage the project. New project, open project, or open from PLC are good examples of frequently used project menu. On edit tab, there are numerous functions that users can use for programming, such as to insert line, to delete line, and to add cell. Optimize program can be chosen to make the latter program to look simpler. Block mask is used to set certain lines not to be scanned so that users can easily use this when editing the program. In Find Replace tab, users can find or replace device or strings used in the project. In View tab, users can open or close windows such as message window, variable monitoring window, and etc. in XG5000. Users can also use cross-reference or used device to find whether the device is currently in use or available to use. Users can select to view variable, device address, comments, or altogether on ladder program. In addition, Users can select how many columns to view in one line where the default number of column is 10. In Online tab, there are Connection setting, Read and Write to PLC, Compare with PLC, Reset, Clear, and Diagnostics functions. 
Online editing is available so that users can edit scan program during run and download it to PLC without stopping the PLC. Connection settings in online tab allows users to select how to connect to PLC such as RS-232C, USB, Ethernet, modem, extended base USB, or remote service. Local connection is used when PC is connected directly to CPU and connection type RS-232C or Ethernet can be used depending on the CPU type. Remote 1 in-depth is used when PC is connected to PLC with the communication module on PLC. XGT PLC has Ethernet communication module and serial communication module, including RS-232C. Remote 2 in-depth is to connect to PLC2 in XG5000. However, it is used under circumstances of PLC1 and PLC2 communicating with each other. Users can check the status of device or module information of ladder program on monitor window in real time. When programming, a red bar shows on the left-hand side of the line to indicate that the ladder program is incomplete or has error. Tools menu has temperature control, position control, and N configurator, which is used to set communication modules such as Profibus or DeviceNet. It also has a simulator that could be used to test as if it is really connected to PLC. ASCII table is also available, so users can check decimals, hexadecimals, and ASCII code. Help menu provides manuals in PDF format for XG5000, PLC, and instructions. Parameter. Now, let's check the parameter setting on project window. Basic parameter has all basic functions related to PLC CPU. There are three tabs in basic parameter setting. PLC scan time is based on the length of scan program and communication load. However, when fixed scan time is checked and set from 1 millisecond to 999 milliseconds, the scan program will run in fixed interval. Input and output points for P device is assigned automatically, depending on which module is equipped, because every module has different I.O. points. When it's checked to assign fixed points to I.O. slots, it means that all modules will be assigned with 64 points. Next, time settings has watchdog timer and standard input filter. Watchdog timer can be set to prevent an indefinite loop in the ladder program for some reasons. PLC will have an error if PLC scan time is longer than watchdog timer. Standard input filter can be set to prevent an error due to electrical noise. It will only perceive input which is longer than the input filter. There is a reset switch and data clear switch on CPU. However, on the bottom of the basic parameter, users can select to disable the switches. In output control settings, there are five conditions where users can select to control output. SOE history is only usable when using sequence of event module. In Device Area Setup tab, users can select which latch area to use. There are two latch area available to select and use. Some internal memory can be used as latch area, and the range can be selected on the right-hand side. Latch Area 1 and 2 have different conditions to clear and retain. Timer boundary is related to timer instructions. 
There are four different types of timer from 100 milliseconds to 0.1 milliseconds, and each type should have at least one device. Users can set start and end address of each timer type depending on their needs. T0 is used as 100 milliseconds, and T5000, in this case, is used as 10 milliseconds. In Error Operation Settings tab, there are six different conditions where users can check to select the condition when error occurs. Network Type PLC CPU has RJ45 port on the bottom, and Standard Type PLC has D sub 9 serial port. PLC can communicate with controllers as server. CPU supports XGT protocol, loader protocol, Modbus. Since I choose CPUUN, which is a network type, it has a local Ethernet parameter menu on the project window. If you double click on the local Ethernet parameter, users can select whether to use the driver as XGT server or Modbus TCP IP server. When using it as a Modbus server, Modbus settings is enabled, and users can set the starting address of bit, word, read, and write. I.O. Synchronization In I.O. Parameter menu, users can add modules equipped in current base. It can be set manually by selecting module for each slot. However, when the PLC is in stop mode, users can easily sync I.O. in XG5000. Go into Online menu and System Diagnostics, then click I.O. Information. Now, XG5000 will automatically list up all the module information of PLC that is connected. When user clicks Apply, U devices that are variables related to equipped modules will show in variable comment. Additionally, in I.O. parameter, users can set parameters just by double-clicking on each module. When parameter setting is done, program must be written to PLC. However, before the program is written, a latter program must be written. Input, Output, Programming Contacts, horizontal, vertical lines, and many kinds of coils are provided with icons as well as shortcuts. Let's make a program with P0 as an input of A contact and P20 as coil. Let's add a normally open contact, A contact, and use P0 as device. Then add a coil and use P20 as a device. At the end of the programming, end function should be added to end a scan program. Let's add comments on P0 and P20. If add to variable list is checked, a window to add variable and comment will be shown. When comment input first is checked, cursor is located at comment when the window pops up that users can enter the comment first. Let's write pb underbar 1 as comment and click OK. Then, let's make a coil and it can be added with shortcut F9. When adding a coil with device P20. Let's add a comment lamp. Now, a ladder program with an A contact and a coil is written. Because we just created a coil, a coil is still clicked, and it can be cancelled with Escape. Users can select what display on ladder program among device, comment, and variable. On Online menu, click on Write. PLC will reset, therefore will need to be reconnected.
Put the PLC in run mode and turn on monitor. In this status, users can turn on and off the push button switch. On the bottom of the XG5000, there is a monitor window where users can add device variable to monitor the status. If the PC is connected to PLC, users can add devices to monitor the data. Let's add P0 and P20 on the monitor window and see how the device changes also on ladder program. Users can also use Device Monitor to check the data. In Monitor tab, click on Device Monitoring. There are many devices like P, M, K, etc. on the left-hand side. And when P is clicked, users can change the status of P0 device. Users can also choose to see the data in binary, BCD, decimal or hexadecimal. Users can change the data value by double-clicking on the device. XG5000 also provides online editing. Online editing is to modify and write ladder program to PLC when PLC is in run mode. However, it can only write ladder program to PLC, not parameters. First, users need to online edit. Go into Online tab, Start Online Editing. Edit the program and write Modified Program to PLC. During online editing, Users can change the status of device by pushing Control and double-clicking on the device. After writing the modified program and online editing.